Hi guys, um, just wanted to share a little something with you. Um, not trying to be political here, but uh, just kind of wanted to share some things. I got some links uh, on Facebook to this very, to this very issue. Um, it's about how the enemy's coming against us in the natural is one part of it. Um, and it's out of Jerem it's out of Isaiah 27. Twisted spirit, twisted serpent. Saw it coming against the body about six months ago. Car breaking down, finances, jobs, health. Um, just a lot of stuff in the natural. And how he couldn't come against us in the spiritual. Garden of Eden. I'm going to keep this brief because I want to get to a point. Garden of Eden, it was a fruit tree, guys, an apple tree or whatever, a fruit tree that looked good to the eye. Garden of Yosemite, turn these breads in, turn these stones into bread. He was hungry, guys. Cast yourself off of this pinnacle, fear of losing your life, dying. Natural. All these worlds, I'll give you it, Saints, and I'll give you all these worlds, everything in them. Natural, money, greed, power, status, all that garbage. So, my point is, well, I'm going to say the second part. I was in prayer, and the Lord said, I'm dwelling in your broken." I'm living in your brokenness. I'm like, okay, God, I'm listening. I've kind of been in some trials myself. So, just look at some of my other videos, you'll see. Um, some of them, anyhow. Uh, so, then he said, what really got to me was the end, but then he said, look at Peter, denied me three times. Okay, God, I'm listening. Job, of course. David, loss of his son, two sons, Absalom and the son with Bathsheba. All of his losses. <clears throat> A broken and contrite spirit. Paul, when he was Saul. Joseph. Even women, guys. Esther. A lot of them. Others. You know, Mary watched her son brutally murdered. So pick one. Brokenness, guys. It's dwelling in our brokenness. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, Daniel, and Weinstein, trying to break us. Brokenness. And there he was in the midst of, the, of them. So anyhow... Um, that's point two. Then kind of point three, and I don't even know if it's really a point, but put this out last December. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to politicize it. There shouldn't be a side to it, guys. The, the, the message was pray for Donald Trump. Okay. There's probably not, they're not supposed to be a side to this, guys. Maybe it's time that that side is to bend a knee in prayer. Pray for the man as a, as a man that he finds Jesus in this mess. Okay? It does seem a little one-sided guy. It seems like everything they're accusing him of doing, they're doing. I mean, where's, where's Michael Flynn now? It was the biggest blow up in the news of everything. Now what? So anyhow, Maybe that is a little political. But anyhow, um, look at the message. Pray for Donald Trump as a man that needs Jesus. Lay aside all this other stuff. But anyhow, because it's a twisted serpent and it's in the body of Christ, it's in the church. Look at the internet. It's full of junk. Lots of junk, guys. I disconnected my cable after years of having it because I was like, man, 
I had to watch it and weed through it and I was, I'd say I'm discerning and you know I can I'm a big guy and I can take you know man it's like I just man now I just try to watch it what I want to watch at least I can have a little bit of a pick and choose on the internet but that's still full of a bunch of junk too pop-ups and all kinds of goofy some of it's seemingly stupid guys honestly but then the last one was um, two th November 2016 Jesus at the center and that was a dream that I had and unless we put Jesus back at the center that's my ending point guys unless we put Jesus back at the center of all this hogwash who's your source God Jesus the Holy Ghost and his word um, so I'm gonna have you know check out my Facebook and just Google Jesus is alive in America and you know, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, all that stuff. Uh, just share it with people, comment, blog with us. Uh, I want to hear your story. I've got a blog page that I started on Wix.com. So want to hear your story. But let's get Jesus. Let's get Jesus first. Only Jesus can make America great again. That's kind of a corny saying, actually, honestly. But... Unless he's at the center of this, of our lives, they're in a mess. But I'm going to end with this. Got a friend that's a really good preacher friend. He's actually a young, young guy, and he kind of does a lot of rap stuff, sort of, kind of, not really rap, but but his message was recently was. God met him behind a dumpster, not a building. And I was like, man, that's pretty profound, guys. Dirty place, stinky place, trash goes in there. God wants to get in our messiest, broken places of our lives. That's where he wants to be. The spots in our hearts, we all got them. Don't, we don't need to lie about it. We don't need to hide behind anything. That's where he wants to go, guys. Or we don't and won't. Don't even let people in, even ourselves. We don't let in some of these places. Sometimes it's been buried for years. People are in their 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, old people. If they're fortunate enough to live that long, got issues from childhood sometimes. Those dark, dark places, guys, that's where he wants to go in our brokenness. So let's pray for, pray for, our, pray for the president in his brokenness. Pray for this country in their brokenness. There's a lot of broken people all over this, guys, angry people, and they're angry over the world. But it's not just the, the political system that's that's chaotic and messy. It's the world. It's all the stuff that's, you know, being portrayed and out there. I could, you know, kill some sacred cows. There's plenty of ungodly bad laws have been passed and shoved down our throats. That's kind of on the news now too, you know? But what do we expect? It says in the Bible there will be perilous times in the last days. So we got to start getting Jesus back at the center of this, guys, and get our mind refocused on that. That's one of my messages on there that I just recently put on there. Are you out of your mind? Time to get out of our mind, guys. But anyhow, so anyhow, um, just tune into Facebook and you can get the links to all those or it's um, Broken and Contrite Spirit, uh, Pray for Donald Trump, uh, Election Vision or uh, Jesus is in the Center from 2016, November 20th, 2016. So just look them up, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know. Uh, comment. Like I said, you know, uh, you can email us at Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com directly. Uh, 
comment, send us stuff. I want to hear your story, guys, because we all have a story. We're all his glory. Um, tune in to some of those other ones, and then you can see how you can get, you know, there's several books that we've got out. One of them is called Jesus Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. Email me. I got an email copy. It's on Amazon. Uh, I can send you a copy for free in the email form. You can get it on Kindle for like four bucks or something. I put it on there real cheap. I, I don't remember how cheap. It's pretty cheap, I think. Uh, Amazon. But anyhow, not about me, guys. It's about him. Jesus being back at the center. So uh, I'm going to have the links to these things on Facebook, too. So. Love you guys, and I will actually have it hard copy written out, some of these two, the ones that I've got. The, the election vision one will be hard copied out. Um, so anyhow, uh, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to y'all soon.